is going on everybody? Jumbo Thick here, back with more Arkham and the Blacks campaign. We got an ambush on Sir John Tyrewald of the Bretonian Errantry faction. And we are not looking at each other for some reason. <laughs> but let's go ahead and... I, I just, we haven't fought some, some humans in a while, so let's go ahead and butcher them in mass. Alright, we're in. And let's go ahead and set up this ambush. Eh, we can. It, it, the winds of magic aren't going to matter. This will be over so quickly. Let's go ahead and set up. See, he's not even on horseback, so. We'll set up the catapult over here. I expect to only get maybe one or two shots in. Let's get our Ushapti closing in from this flank. Let's go ahead and run the chariots over here into the backs of those pole arms. Hopefully, break them. We'll run the hounds into this little archer and um, trebuchet core. And then we're going to run the Nehekarn warriors straight at the pole arms. And they should actually chew through some pole arms. They're really good at taking on unarmored troops. And since they are damage dealers, as you can see, they excel at getting into combat um, without being damaged to begin with. And I guess we'll run in some spearmen on this flank to kind of tie up whatever we can in the center. Now, as far as our archers go, I guess we'll run them up here for now, and we'll kind of push in and shoot shoot at pole arms and things like that whenever we run up. Let's go ahead and get our Lich Priest and King Lamizash ready to take on their Lord. And that's about it. I am probably going to pause this as soon as we get into it just so that I don't accidentally forget something maybe so let's kind of at least slow it down get you guys running in here you guys running in there I get you guys running in there and you guys run in over here. Oh. Boom. Get you to run up. How about we get you to start shooting at them? And we definitely. We don't want to hit them while they're. Ooh, that's a bad matchup for us. Let's take out him. As soon as these skeletons get into. Oh, yeah, get those guys out of there. Get our hounds out. Uh, not doing so hot. Let's run you guys in now. We're piling on those Sushakti. We're packing through them. We're really trying to hold us up here. Run you this way. Let's go ahead and debuff their lord here. How about that? And if we break these pole arms, we'll be able to get the rest of our guys in the, in, into formation here. Let's run these archers up this way. Let's get the four hounds out here, and then get them into the peasant bowmen. Stop them from shooting at us. Should be collapsing most of this. Okay, those guys are running away. Get our Shopti back into them. Let's go ahead and put down a mystifying miasma on these pole arms while we're at it. Alright, we have gotten over there. Get you right there. Where are my... There they are. Get my chariots back this way. Let's go ahead and get into these guys right here. The spearmen. Crunch on them. Hounds come back this way. Matter of fact, hounds chase them down. Where's King Lamizash? Get in on him if you can. Let's go ahead and weaken him again. And just like that, they're breaking. The Lord is the only one sitting there valiantly holding the line against all these Nehekarns. Blood in the sands, as it should be. <laughs> Arkin would be proud. Alright, and let's go ahead and end that battle, guys. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Thinking about maybe doing the casualty of your punishment, just to help these guys kind of get up to speed quicker. So we don't need the jars. We could take the money. Now let's go ahead and take the replenishment. Something packing. 
all too easily. Alright, we've got a confederation. The Dark Elves. That kind of hurts our trade agreements a little bit. Don't like that. But we're taking more land now, so we should be able to compensate for the loss of a few trade agreements. Alright, let's see here. What do we need to do? We've got guys coming in trying to deal with us, and I do not appreciate it. Hmm. We might use King Fahom here as just a diversion tactic to kind of draw some of these guys away. I really wish we had Lightning Strike. This would have been so easy. As it is, we have a pretty weakened garrison here. But we have walls. So... Do we have walls? Hold on. Click on it. We don't. We don't have walls. Shit. Okay. Or maybe we do, just because this is considered a capital. He's too low to have it. Yeah, we're not. We don't have lightning. We're not even close to lightning strike with him. Is anybody close to it? I bet you King Wakaf might. No. I don't think we have a single army that is close enough that can uh, can perform lightning strike. Oh, that puts us in a bit of a tough spot. Okay. In that case, let's try to move up slow. If they attack us, they attack us. If not, we're going to get in with range and then hopefully drive them back by sheer numbers. Um, let's get him the Iron Disciplinarian. A little public order wouldn't hurt, and then we can get him up to Lightning Strike, and maybe he can help us out. Pools of Despair. Nope, they're not guarded, so we really need to hang out over this way. Get that garrison starting to beef up. Alright, what is Zandri looking like? It's not very well defended. So I'm thinking... Move up to replenish some more. Four turns? Jeez, that's... That's a little excessive. Everything else is looking pretty good as far as public order. Yeah, so. I guess we'll leave King Wakaf where he is for now. Wait, are there any treasures around here that you might. Uh, ruins of battle. Yeah, let's go for some of these. Since he's just sitting there, I might as well get some use out of him. Have him run back when we need him. Yeah. He's going to end the turn. I really want to take the Lands of the Dead. That's going to be the, our main goal. Crushing Kemri. Secondary goal. Um, as of right now, just holding on to what we have. And then... Um, pushing Kemri. They only have one settlement, so they shouldn't be that hard to get away from us. Okay, they're still not doing anything. We should be able to push them away from us, and then counterattack. Really? You're going to bypass my... Okay. That's a bold move, I suppose. Yeah, we got the Kimmerian War Sphinx buffs. Not that we have any. <laughs> I wish we had some. We don't. We can get some stuff for some Necro Sphinxes. Why not? Let's start researching that Necro Sphinx. Our Lich Priest leveled up. Let's get him. Is that only for missiles? It's only for missiles. Uh, I don't like the missiles. 
Yeah. Assyrian's incantation of vengeance then. Or we could just buff protection. And I think maybe that's the way we go with that. The 44% physical resist is really good. And the more we can keep the cooldown, the better. Let's run here. And we get we have all of these we have all of this stack in here now. Alright, and he just has these two. Now we could do a field battle. That's a lot of troops. And even in a field battle, I have a pretty pretty certain King Fahom here is going to get decimated. <laughs> He's not going to stand much of a chance. Arkin's army is short a unit, but we've got a really solid a solid set of units here. King Fahom's got nothing. He's got skeleton horse archers, for God's sakes. Grant, he only has spearmen, really, but he has Ushapti, and they are rather scary. Uh, it's just, the odds are not very good for us. Okay, let's go ahead and quick save this. As long as I don't you lose too many units in Arkin's army, we're just gonna auto resolve this. If auto resolve does me wrong, like it tends to do, then um, we'll think about doing something else. One unit of crypt ghouls and some skeleton warriors. I will take that trade because I did not want to have to fight all that. Let's go ahead and I guess heal our units, get them closer to fighting. So we get one more turn for the Hex Wraiths. Arkin leveled up. We really need that Lightning Strike, <laughs> as, as was just seen. So how about we start in with the... Um, yeah, let's go start in with the Canopic Jars. We'll start getting more Canopic Jars. Ah. And, and then King Fahom. Let's get you out of here. Can you even recruit anything in here? You can get your you can get your uh, your skeleton warriors back, even though it's just chaff. But we can use it to reinforce this army if we need to, or just hold down the uh, hold down the fort elsewhere. So King Lamizash. Ooh, the withering's really good. But let's go ahead and go for the Pendulum first, and then we'll get the Withering after that. Let's take take the fight to Xandri. Okay, we can attack it outright, and I think we probably should, and I bet, I mean, this is, it's a simple garrison, but just because they have walls, they're going to do tremendous damage to us. Maybe we build, no, we don't really need the towers. We could, though. But I think the Shafti should be fine beating down those gates. They only have two archers. Um, yeah, we're going to lose some units, but oh well. Alright, let's go ahead and get this battle started. So, interestingly enough, the um, Bretonians have the same problems as the Tomb Kings when it comes to siege battles. And that, they don't do very well. Um, is there... That's kind of a hill, right? It might protect us from some arrow fire. Uh, it's not steep enough. Maybe back... Maybe back here. Yeah, we might get a little bit of protection from incoming arrow fire. And since that's a catapult, we should be able to rain death upon the, uh... The mortals that have invaded Kemri. How dare they? I think we're going to screen our um, Ushapti here with these Warhounds, or these Dire Wolves that keep calling Warhounds. Let's get the chariots ready. I guess we'll keep them back here. Front line of expendable shielded skeletons to eat up all incoming arrows. Let's get our archers back behind them. Our king here, our priest here. And then the Nehekar and Warriors, which we are probably going to send up onto the walls back behind them. So that's everybody. Get you guys moving up. Let's get you guys off skirmish. I really 
or I really just don't like skirmish mode. It doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Let's go ahead and run you up. Let's go ahead and run the rest of you guys up. Oh, maybe there. I guess we'll run the chariots right there. Let's run these hounds up to kind of absorb some arrow fire. Let's have you start shooting out some peasant bowmen. That would be nice. And they're targeting the Ushapti. I think they're going to keep targeting the Ushapti. Try to mix in the hounds. Try to absorb some of the damage. Nope, they don't care. They don't care about that. All right, let's move the hounds over here. We made it. Pretty easily. We're hammering down on those peasant bowmen, but it doesn't appear to be hitting them that easily. Maybe these ones will be a better target. Okay, let's go ahead and take you guys off of that. And let's go ahead and start getting these Nehekaran warriors up on these walls. Like so. Gates are open already. Oh yeah. Pile in, boys. Pile in. Let's go ahead and get you guys out of that group and get you guys in here as well. Oh yeah. Their paladin is swamped now. Let's go ahead and move in the... Don't, don't do that. Let's move in the spearmen. We'll help out. Let's have some destruction thrown their way. <laughs> the pendulum. Oh yes, look at that damage, even on Yeoman, which it shouldn't be that great against. You in there. And let's go ahead and enfeeble him. Really burn him down. Once he's gone, they're not going to be able to do much against us. Yeah. Let's go ahead and run in the chariots now. Keep them all running this way. Okay, let's get our sorcerer away from him. I don't like the fact that he's got a hold of him in the first place. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's Spearman, right? Did I collect the Spearman? I think I did. Yes. Yes, they're collapsing. This has been an almost instantaneous route. There's not much they can do. We got another pendulum. Unfortunately, I can't cast it on the wall. That would be a little OP if I could. So we'll just let our archers counter fire. Get into them boys, get into them. Keep debuffing the paladin. Want him dead. Let's go ahead and mystify Miasma some more of these troops up here. Start causing damage. And they're breaking. And they have broken. Our Tomb King Blob <laughs> took care of everything. All right. Couldn't have said it better, King. Couldn't have said it better. It's going to occupy. Wouldn't serve to ruin the kingdom of Kimri. So we've taken Zandri, a very profitable port, and we've got access to. Yeah, we don't need that. Let's get rid of that building. Could, could get some pottery going here. I think we might have pottery elsewhere, though. So let's go ahead and get Attend Me, and we want Lightning Strike. And Phyrus is going to be up next. Okay, Pools of Despair, we're kind of working on. He could make a move towards them. But King Fahom is going to be within range to help out, I think, if, that, if it comes to that. Oh, Hikes defended. We do have Pottery at Kofur. Um, let's see here. What do we need to do? As the Panther's fine. The Sheik, we could get some something else going here at Le Sheik. Hmm, there we wait. Until we have some more resources. Uh, I 
want more walls, more places, but right now we're not that threatened, so we can afford to be a little lax. And I guess that's going to be all we can do right now. Let's check our diplomacy real quick to see if there's anything we can do. Diplomacy-wise, the Port of Liberes is still over here. They've got a lot of settlements. They're doing very well in Lustria. There's only two settlements left for Kimri. So I see this one, and they must have one up here, too. So as soon as we wipe them off the face of the earth, bye-bye Tomb King Fear threat, because I don't foresee um, Kalida coming across the ocean just to get at us. Scourge of Cain doesn't like us because of our treaties with all the other Dark Elves. Like that makes any sense. Malekith, I really wish that you would be friends with me. I have a feeling we're going to be losing a lot of our trade agreements soon with the Dark Elves. That sucks. We still have an agreement with Lothar, though, for now. And not many other things like us. We do have some Skaven. But they only have one settlement. It's Clan Spittle. Um, the Vampire Coast are still steadfast allies, though they are rather pathetic and weak. So, not much we can do on that front. Let's go ahead and uh, skip this. End the turn. King Wakaf going for that sunken treasure. Give us a little boost to our income, that'd be nice. <laughs> Alright, what are you going to do? Mess with me? Yep, that's exactly what you're going to do. That f frustrates me so much <laughs> when they do that. Hopefully it wasn't the walls I was building. But we're going to counter back against Kimri. Why is he encamping? It's just not smart. Hmm. What building was it? Okay, it was just the public order building. That's actually not too bad. That's fine. I'll take that. Who did we lose? What? Oh, it was a uh, crypt ghoul. That's right. Damn it. Two turns. What about Zandri? No. Nope. Oh, frustration. Okay. We don't really need the pottery since we already have it. So let's go ahead and get some walls going at Xandri, because since it is a port, it is rather easily to be attacked. And let's move King Lamezash here and go into an ambush stance and see if this guy comes towards us. That would be perfect. If Rikolas Wadun, Wadun, I don't know how you say it, but I'm assuming it's something like that, comes towards us, gets you moving towards the pools of despair. Damn it, man. I can't... Uh, I want that Crypt Ghoul back. But I don't want to wait two turns for it. That sucks. What can I get right... All I can get right now are just like some... Chaff. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. And what can I get this way? I could get a Flock of the Joff, which is... Uh, it's okay. It's not great. They do have flaming attacks, though, so I guess there is that. <sighs> What's Camry got? They've got a full... They got everything. Got everything they need to really piss me off. We're not going to be able to attack this turn anyway, so let's go ahead and let's get our... Let's get our Crypt Ghoul back. We're still working on tying things up up here. We're making a little bit of money. Let's see if we can make some more. There's an extra thousand. Do we have anything else around this way? 
And it's a battle. We do need to get Arkin's Tomb Blade. There's stuff up here. Hmm. What does your army look like? It's not the greatest. It's not the worst, but it's not the greatest either. I guess we'll move towards this Sea Corpse here. See if we can pick up some more. Um, let's save up a little bit of money and maybe invest in Lashik here. Because in two turns we're going to be able to get this to a level 5 and then we can finally start putting in um, our more advanced military units. Yeah, so let's save up. Oh, let's see what the Mortuary Cult has. So we can actually unlock the rest of these. Oh, yes, okay. So let's actually unlock the Assyrians Legion, because they are really good. And these guys are just okay, but I want them all. So I'm willing to spend a little money to get these guys. Oh, we need 300 jars. Damn it! Okay, so we're going to be building up jars again. We only make 13 a turn. Shit. So... <laughs> The sooner this stuff gets built, the better. Oh. Uh, yeah, definitely. Okay, so we can actually do this. It is Syrian's Legion of the Dead, and they are a fantastic unit of the Hecarn Warriors. Now, we're not at full strength yet, so I want to come... Let's see. This is where we're going to... We're going to cross here, so let's come here move. Okay, they're already starting to build up their forces. Let's go ahead and send an ambush if they come towards us. If not, we're going to invade Kemri and see if we can stop them from building up any more forces right there. And I guess that's all we got for now, so let's go ahead and turn. Start building up our supply of jars once again. I did just kind of blow them all on <laughs> some extra legions, but... Assyrian's Legion is really good, because they're essentially um, wraiths, essentially. We need to recruit some more heroes. Alright, still doing okay. The knights aren't moving. It's good for us. Not so good for them. I don't know why they wouldn't rush into their own settlement. Clan Spittle. Our Lich Priest. Ah, uh, yes, our Lich Priest. Come this way, my little priest. No, not you, Arkin. Our little priest. You do. You damage buildings. Ooh, they got a lot of shit. See if we can get rid of that Ushapi unit. They, they haven't recruited it yet. Okay. Alright, so we're back up. Let's get our Necro attacked. Um, we already got the jars filled out. I guess... Uh, let's get Indomitable Will and start really buffing him in combat. Because right now, he sucks. <laughs> Even with all the buffs we've given him. He's not the best. Let's go ahead and siege Kimri. Jeez, that is a really good... Oh, it's a good garrison. Two Necrosphinxes. And a Hero Titan. Shit. Well, at least they don't have our... Well, no, they've got two Screaming Skull Patapults. I was going to say, at least they don't have artillery, but they've got plenty. Wow. Okay. Well, in that case... Let's, uh... Let's start working on some towers, and we might have to siege these guys all the way out. Oof. Oh, uh, yeah. That's that's going to be a rough one. Black Pyramid's up and running. I like it. Let's level up the Black Tower of Arkin, for sure. I guess we'll move to the Pools of Despair, and he didn't move, which was dumb of him. So let's kill some more mortals. 
He can't get away, dude. Yeah. He's gone. And we'll take the jars. And we're going to hit Fyrus next. They need to prove themselves. And King Lamizash has got Lightning Strike now. Okay, let's go ahead and get the Withering. I just love the Lore Shadows. It's really powerful. And is it only one more turn for Kali's Palace? Yep, one more turn, and then we should have we should have enough. Let's go ahead and get this Mysterious Island. I didn't notice it was there. Okay, got some more. And then let's go ahead and get this Sea Corpse. And even more. So we're actually good on money now. And I guess we'll run you towards this other Sea Corpse over here. Because Public Order's looking fine. Do want to get Arkin's Tomb Blade, but we just don't. We, we can't right now. We really need to fend off Kemri. They're being a very big pain. So they're probably going to counterattack me. Uh, I don't like it. Let's go ahead and skip this and in the turn once again. I mean, we're only 90 turns in, and we have dominated a considerable part of the Land of the Dead. Hmm. Oh, there's even a shipwreck over there, it looks like. Let's see, what are they going to do? They're going to count... Oh, shit. Hey, yeah, there's no way. God damn, dude. They just have all these reinforcements coming in. Oh. Can we catch him outside, maybe? We really need to push around with maybe once we tie up these loose ends with Bretonia, we can um, push on the other settlement that Kemri has because that's where they're building their armies up at and then pushing them this way. Because as of right now, we're just in a stalemate because they. Oh, motherfucker. They, no! Oh, Arkin has to retreat now. Damn it. Oh, come on. Yeah, look how much damage they did. Come on, man. We recover quick, but that's just it's just frustrating. Alright, let's go ahead and get let's get in there. So we'll hit Fyrus next turn. King Lomizash will secure that province. Let's start moving King Ferron here this way. He's got a shit army. But we'll at least um, secure Zandri here. And where is... There you are. Yeah, let's have you start picking that stuff up. King w Wakaf. What is King Wakaf's... Um... Does he have something special? Extra that, that, that. What about his... Just when you're fighting in the desert, so he really needs to go back to the desert. Hmm. Well, we can finally get this going. Which means we, in six turns, will be able to build the building to get our better units. <laughs> so, it's been a long time coming. Uh, Arkin's got to heal up now. That's frustrating. And we just wasted another turn. He already has... He only has one of them, though. Let's go ahead and see if we can hurt him by damaging these. And hopefully he doesn't have another one. Okay. Now. We don't have the jars. We're going to save up the jars for other, other things. But... Could spend a little money. Or we save the money. I'm not sure which one I want to do. Um, that's a pretty good lord for public order. He'd be good for a Kyrian War Sphinx if we got the chance to get one. We just buff some of these other units just, just to say we did it. Now we could save up some money and maybe get some of these bonuses, the dynasty bonuses. 
And that might even be a better idea, but it's going to be a few turns before you even have enough to do that. I think we do need to do that, actually. Yeah. In the long run, it's going to save us quite a bit of money. So let's go ahead and start researching King Fitep here. Yeah, for the for the public order, or the uh, Kimrian War Sphinxes, I mean. And we're recovering. And let's go ahead and end the turn one more time. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> Bastards. Oh, they're abandoning Kimri. Hmm. They're just going to keep bouncing those armies back and forth. That's what I think they're going to do. Okay. We might be able to catch them in a trap if they keep doing that. You bastard. <laughs> He's running. It's not going to matter. He abandoned it to us, so... It is what it is. Well, we lost our Lich Priest again. Bastards. And King Lomizash took damage on all of his units. Rather significant damage, if I might add. But Fyrus isn't very well defended, so... We'll be able to just do this. Oh my god, it has walls. Screw it. It didn't matter. It's ours. He has no means of recourse. He's got a single unit here, and it's running away. <laughs> so he's he's fl he's fled this thing. Not very um, not very chivalrous of him, I might add. Oh sweet, and we're working on some uh, some tomb guard up here. I like that. I like that a lot. And, um, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's get more tech up and running. Maybe we can get some more hex rates in there. So, anyways, guys, I have rambled my way through this video successfully. Um, maybe wait one more turn. Or maybe we go after Arkin's Tomb Blade in the meantime. So, perhaps next, next, um, episode, because I have unfortunately ran out of time for this one, we will do one of those two things. We'll either go for the Tomb Blade. Or we'll try to mess with Camry some more. More than likely we'll be messing with Camry, but... Hey, leave your comment down in the comment section, and maybe it'll help me decide on what we want to do. So, as always, guys, I have been Jumbo Thick. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Have a good day.